One of the things in Finland is all the doors open out instead of in. Notice your hotel room door next time it opens in. Thing in it. So it does have jelly inside of it. So this is stuffed, a croissant, eggs. That's that stuffed potato. That stuffed potato, yeah. And pizza. That's pizza, no, and this I is. Think, think you don't think it is? I think it's a quiche. Quiche? You know, yeah. It looks like pizza. No, it's. Quiche. And that's um, some kind of dessert. Mm -hmm. And this is goat blood, according to Jim Murray. Another thing they have here is a doorbell. <laughs> Doors open out. Look at this crazy looking bus. You can see there's a door there. There's a door there that I guess goes under, but they sit real high up in the bus. That's a door to like climb up in there, I think. There's those crazy beetle signs. They want you to walk like the beetles here whenever you're crossing the street. Look at these locks. Giant one right there. And I keep seeing all these people wearing these crazy pants. And I don't mean a few, I mean a lot of them. See all those? Plastered. This is a work truck here. Guys are building a stage or a platform. Oops, right. Sweet and salty pancakes that are lactose free. Right here on the square. Wheelies are universal, friends. Mm. No, it doesn't work in Finland either. He is pinching the policeman's ear. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> And they told me that the reason that they put the street signs on the buildings is because of the snow. I'm not sure what those are. This is telling me the addresses that are on there. 
see even on that building. It seems to be on every building. And you're saying that way they have less street signs and things that can get knocked down with the snow clouds. This is just off the street and they're in there playing video pepper games and things, that kind of stuff. Hmm. hmm. And who doesn't love ice cream on a cold day? It's about 41 today. A little breezy, but it actually is not. I don't really feel cold. This is a restaurant based on Vikings, which is, I, th I think I'd use the word apropos. <laughs> a lot of this. It is not that cold. She thinks it is, though. Can you do it? It's good. Wow. That's good, guys. Can you do a backflip? You can. <laughs> I can't either. <laughs> Thank you. See you. A lot of Chinese and Chinese places. This is the Flavor Palace, friends. This is not a regular palace. This is a Flavor Palace. Flavor Flav would eat there. Yeah. Are those ferrite? Ferrets. Hmm. Of course, bikes. There's a lot of bikes here. This is like a fancy bike shop. Yeah, this guy services bikes. This is pretty cool. This is very old school looking. I don't know what any of that means. He does sell Michelin tires. I see American influence, friends, everywhere I go. Big boards on bicycles. I see that a lot. Is this caution flying saucers? I think caution snow. But I'm not sure. Finish rednecks. Those hitches. So clearly, this is a place where there's a lot of activity. You can see all the old places there tents set up there right now the tents are down some of them some of them are up but when the weather gets better it'll go back to normal and they'll open the dam and put water back in and there's the fat little policeman watching over but this is what the policeman sees I love it. Mm -hmm. so that's what he sees when he looks out There you go. You get a lot of this kind of stuff here. The girl with that bright red hair. God bless you. So see, it is 41 out here and there's actually people sitting outside and eating. And there was people yesterday sitting outside and eating. So they don't consider the temperature, but I think they may have some antifreeze. 
Hmm. These buildings are very old. Or very old looking anyway. Square timbers. You see how they're interlaced. Like old barns. But they're downtown. And I guess this is a sound company, but what's funny is it's, it's very straightforward. The only good system is a sound system. And I notice that other languages are very straightforward in the way that they say things, uh, where we try to, to be uh, sharp, as it were, when we're saying stuff. They say it very straightforward. And you can see the smokestacks out in the distance. So you see these Thule things and you see it says Sweden. I was going to say it's from a Scandinavian country. So there you go. So friends, I thought this little policeman was really, really cool. And the point of it is in that town, it is so safe that they can have fat policemen. They don't really need them. I thought it was a beautiful place, beautiful town, and I would definitely visit there again. If you get a chance to go to Olu, Finland, go. I loved Finland. Great place. Highly recommended. And this place is beautiful. Go see that. I tightened up and went and saw that fat policeman. You should too. So if you want to support this effort, make sure that you subscribe, like, and then join. That helps us to get more videos out there. Yes, it does.